Hello and welcome. Okay, this is a uh, not normally a game I would uh, show off. However, it's a very rare instance. Uh, this is a uh, I believe our army American Army Proving Grounds. It's a free game that you can download for the PlayStation 4, and it's a game I like to play every now and then because, uh, especially with the newer Call of Duties, they're well at least when I was playing them, they started to have all this uh, high technology with multiple jumps and booster sliders. And I, it was kind of cool at first, but then it just started to get annoying because and when you're shooting someone, they would just jump 10 feet in the air. Or you would get shot from someone uh, while running way above you. And, you know, just like in Star Wars, I have the high ground, Anakin. Uh, <laughs> it really does actually give you a, an advantage because it's easier just to aim down and shoot than to look up because uh, most people don't look up most of the time anyway uh, so I didn't like it and then I noticed this game and I downloaded it and I like it however it's kind of janky sometimes and uh, uh, sometimes it feels really laggy where I, I think I'm shooting a guy but that person was shooting my head a billion times faster so it just looks like I died in one shot and that's always been a frustrating thing for me anyway uh, what I meant with the a rare occasion is that sometimes like if everyone leaves the lobby where you know you're playing and then they just get they leave or in some cases they even get disconnected there's a chance that uh, you'll remain on the battlefield still playing so I start messing around because it's one of the few instances where you can have infinite uh, grenades and uh, flashbangs and I just have fun throwing those around. However, for some reason, while doing that, I clipped through the world and I got this mode. Now this is something I really like in, uh, in video games, like the boundary break. Uh, there's a whole series uh, about bound boundary breaking by, was it Jesus? Uh, it's a weird way to pronounce that name, but uh, just search Boundary Break on YouTube and you'll find uh, a really great series. And it just, uh, it's basically this. It's a free camera where you're able to go wherever you want and see any hidden secrets that the developers may hide. And that's practically what I'm doing here. Now, I'm speeding up the camera, this, uh, this, well, speeding up the video clip, because this originally lasted like uh, 13 minutes of me just looking around. Uh... Although I, I want to have it in its slow down version, I just kind of want to show like this. Uh, I may keep the slow down version for myself uh, for a while because there's this is like despite just being a game where like 80% of it you're not even focused at looking at the things around you. You're just focused on the objective and shooting whoever comes to your point of view. For so for so much detail around this entire map to be textured. I mean, it's not high res texture, obviously, but it it still looks great. Like I, if I just stop here and I look at this, uh, the, like this scenery, it looks really nice, and I like that. Uh, I've always been a person that I don't care about like HD graphics or 4K resolutions. I don't really care about that. I grew up with uh, SNES, NES, N64, PlayStation one uh, connection so I don't care about those things so just uh, just looking at this I mean it's beautiful and I definitely appreciate the higher resolution games but uh, it comes with a cost uh, making games like that nowadays is very expensive and I prefer just having something simple like this even this which is a free game uh, it looks amazing to me so uh, I'm probably gonna shut up by a halfway mark into this game and just to let you well this video and just let you enjoy what comes next uh, I just wanted to give a little backstory on why I'm uploading this so it's a rare instance uh, that doesn't usually happen I wish I, I could get this to happen on other maps because there's a, there's a couple of secrets in these games uh, it's a free game overall, but to see that the developers are adding extra easter eggs for just detail into the land is something I like to appreciate, which is probably why Boundary Break, the YouTube series, is uh, it's it's getting a lot of attention because stuff like that you just the common player never gets to see, and that's unfortunate. I really wish developers would allow you to see this, like a mode where you can travel 
across all of the stages and see the the hard work they put into it and like maybe it breaks the illusion but there's so much work that you that people could look at and uh, admire especially for someone who's interested in making games this stuff is really interesting anyway uh, i think i went on longer than i wanted <laughs> my bad but overall thank you all for watching uh, please enjoy the rest of this video and until next time take care and have fun playing